Welcome back. Today we have this sporterized end field that we're going to put a new hunter crown on the end of this barrel. As you can see, the old one's in need of uh, spruce up. First thing we're going to do is change the chuck in our lathe out from a three draw chuck to a four draw chuck. The three draw chuck will only center the firearm up or the barrel up to the outside of the barrel and we need to make sure that our crown is perpendicular to the bore. So we're going to use a four draw chuck. The four draw chuck will allow us to center that barrel up in any position we want. It's also important to make sure that those mating surfaces inside are clear from any chips or debris. The last time we put a barrel on the lathe, I didn't really show the setup very much. This one, I'd like to get into it a little more. Um, we're in the four draw chuck. We have shim pieces in there to protect the barrel. And then on the back, we have three brass screws that are holding the action in place as well. Now we'll go and we'll put an indicator on the front and get it all zeroed in. This is a barrel centering tool that made back when I was in gunsmithing school. It allows us to center up the uh, dial indicator on something that is inside the bore so that you're not indicating to the outside of the barrel. Using the four draw chuck to center up the barrel is an important feature. Um, I start by using the live center just in the hole to get it close before we put a dial indicator on it. Um, it's just a visual check as you move the live center up as to how the barrel centers up. Once we've got it close enough with the live center, then we're going to go ahead and put our barrel centering tool in. And that will allow us to have that point, like we mentioned before, that you can indicate off from that is in the center of the bore and not the outside of the barrel. is all set up on our barrel centering device and now we're going to go around and we're going to tighten it up until the needle basically stops moving. This particular dial indicator has uh, half thousands increments on it uh, which makes it much easier to dial in and uh, make sure it's true. I missed it in the camera shot but off camera, every time I move this, one of the jaws of the chuck gets tightened up or slightly loosened in order to adjust the chuck jaws so that the barrel is in the center.
this is our crowning bit. This is a uh, for doing a hunter crown, which is kind of your typical rifle crown that you see when you buy a, a non-target specific rifle. Um, I ground this particular bit quite a while ago, and uh, I use it for the contours. <laughs> adjusted the height of my cutting bit to make sure it's in the center of our workpiece. And now I'm going to start by cleaning up the end of the barrel by making a couple of cuts with my square cutting bit perpendicular from the bore. We'll be making our cut from the bore to the outside of the barrel. That way you don't get any burrs or rolled over edges inside your bore. Now we're going to remove our straight cutter and we're going to put in our pre-ground crowning cutter. Our crown's all cut, and now all we have to do is polish it up. We're going to start with 120 grit and work our way up to 320 grit. That wraps it up. We're going to take it out of the lathe and give that bore a good scrubbing, as you can see. Make sure there's no chips in there. That'll do it. <laughs>